Hello, 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 hello. Good day. Yeah, in this video, just briefly look at the Fibonacci field or the Fibonacci sequence. How we can use Python language to print this Fibonacci. You know, Fibonacci basically is uh, the addition of a, the, the Fibonacci of a number is the sequential addition of that number in the sense that Fibonacci of one is one because you start with a number starting from zero, one, two, three, four. Fibonacci of zero is zero because there's no number before it. The Fibonacci of one is one because zero plus one is one. The Fibonacci of two is also one because one plus zero is what is one. So by default, Fibonacci of zero is zero. Fibonacci of one is one. But Fibonacci of two is zero plus one, which is one. Fibonacci of three is one plus one, which is two. Fibonacci of just that way, you keep on adding sequentially and you get your Fibonacci. So from this We'll look how we can use Python programming language to get the Fibonacci of a number one. So I'll start by saying place number number equal to int, which converts the input to integer input place enter a number. I want you to go to the next line. Uh, close it back. Close it back. Close. So in this case, I have I will capture the number. If the, the number the property if the user want to find the C Fibonacci. So what I have to do, I have to use a function to define where I'm going to. So I'll say there. Sorry. Good. There. I use this fib and I'll specify an integer. So I have programmed it before, that's why I'm saying that. So I can use fib and I'll get this and say n to enter the fib on us. Okay, I'll use my fun. This finds the Fibonacci. Of a positive number. So I'll set a default Fibonacci of zero and Fibonacci of one that are equal to zero and one. That is the base cases that are equal to zero and one. So I make a condition if n is equal to zero, then she was return was. If you return zero or simply f zero, f zero, which is zero, and if n equal to one, there should be a return of what of f one of f one. So in the case if there is none like that, now say if there is none, you return what return Fibonacci of n minus one using this this one we call recursive function this is recursive function plus Fibonacci of n minus two n minus one plus Fibonacci of n minus two so we we'll get this then to call this okay let's run this let's run this let's see. If we run this, you see that we have the Fibonacci. You give us the value here. So I will run this letter, but for the range, for the range, to print it out, to print it out. 
So you can see that we have to use the for loop here to get that. And when we run this, when we run this using our key F5, um, we have to make the wrong window visible. Now, so we can see it. So on the wrong window, we enter, uh, let me say four as our number. It gives me the Fibonacci, zero, one, one, two. Okay, if I should get this as uh, uh, the, you know, get, get the Fibonacci of four, Fibonacci of four, it will give me what, three, which is the Fibonacci of two plus the Fibonacci of three to give me three. So this is just the Fibonacci series. And uh, if you want to get the Fibonacci of a particular value, you just have to use the, you just have to call the function. You just have to call the function, the Fib function, and it will be executed for you. You just have to call the Fib function, and it will be executed for you. For you. We will create a space, you can put springs, yeah, um, for this output, you can put springs, the output, sorry, output, so when you have this, you can put here, springs, the inputs. So when you run this again, you see it in a more organized way. You see it in a more organized way. Wherever you can see the output, you can see the have it on the screen, you have the input, you enter a number, let me say 10, for instance, then this is the Fibonacci. Series of 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, down to 10. Then, if you want to get the Fibonacci of 10 itself, not the series this time around, not the series this time around, you don't want to get the Fibonacci of 10, you use the function Fib, uh, which is the name given to our function. If you use the function Fib and get it as 55, which is what? 21 plus 34. So thank you very much. I uh, guess you understood this Fibonacci in Python. Um, if you don't understand anything, you can please drop your comments below. Um, the code will be made available on our social media. Thank you very much. Do have a lovely day.